The U.S. is the number one trash producing country in the world at 1,609 pounds per person per year. This means that 5% of the world's people generate 40% of the world's waste. There are still millions of people on the planet who don't understand the benefits of recycling or the consequences of not recycling. Every year, Americans use approximately 1 billion shopping bags, creating 300,000 tons of landfill waste. The average office worker uses 10,000 sheets of office paper each year. That's 4 million tons of office paper used annually. And it's like sad that there's so much stuff there that we can recycle instead of just throwing it in the ground, you know, and wasting up space that could be used for other things. When you see all of the trash, it was like so many bottles and plastic bags and paper and all kinds of like that that could have been recycled. And it's sad to know that like humans, how we treat the earth and stuff. To start our recycling campaign, we first need to educate ourselves. In order to get the word out globally, we must first start locally. To start our campaign, we spoke to students and staff at Central, Crescent, and Union High Schools to see what their current recycling programs were like. I don't really recycle here. Every day, I usually have like a cup of coffee in the morning or something, and most of the time, I put it in my locker and I'll bring it home with me when I leave, and it just be in my bin at home, so. Yeah, we do recycle actually in my home, and, my, and we recently started to recycle when we moved to our new house, and we actually found that like, it saves us a lot of money, like on the trash bags. So, like, like half most of our garbage is recycling. So, like, it's just way cheaper to recycle. I recycle at my aunt's house, when I stay over there, but not that much at home. At home, I just recycle bottles right now. And at school, um, bottles. We don't really just recycle paper. Availability is the biggest problem of recycling in this school. I do have a recycling bin in my office also in the cafeteria, but only when I see the, the boxes presence, I do try to recycle. We discovered there are no official recycling programs. However, individual classrooms work together to run smaller recycling programs within their school. Uh, right now we do have a group of students that collect recycling papers from all the classrooms. I do believe cafeteria staff does the recycling in the cafeteria. I do know that uh, our robotics team wants to start a cycling program. They have come to me and asked me about that, so I think I will be working with them as well. Uh, mostly now we, we recycle um, office paper and cardboard is what we do mostly. What could students do to help increase the amount of recycling done at school? I think leading by example, actually recycling themselves. So when, when you see the can, the recycling cans or the plastic, you know, the, the, they make sure that they recycle in those areas. I care about the environment, and, and I've really stressed it to my to my own kids and, and my wife. Something something we do, as a matter of fact, in my back room, I have a, a bag of recycling. So whenever I drink water or pop, that's not you know there's not a deposit on there. I put in that bag and I take it home to recycle. Do you think students should recycle here at Union and at home? I do. I think it'll it'll help our environment and, and it'll uh, keep it around longer for generations to come. Before our class, there was, there was no. Um paper recycling in the building at all. Everyone threw everything away, all paper, and I couldn't believe that. I mean, schools produce a ton of paper. Our students now at school are in charge of supplying classrooms with uh, boxes and then picking up weekly. In our own classroom, personally, we also have a, a bin for plastic and glass and metal um, that I actually take home and put in my own bin and bring it out to the street. We just collect it from our two classes, mm -hmm. uh, my class and Miss Knoll's class, and then uh, about a month ago, we took our first big load over to the recycling, Kent County Recycling Center. We had taken a tour of there, and uh, they have dumpsters outside, or 
tra uh, recycling collection bins, and so we took them and dropped them off there. Um, how do you feel about recycling? I think it's a wonderful idea, and the recycling program that we have set up district-wide is uh, pretty innovative. In fact, uh, the city of Grand Rapids modeled their one stream, uh, one source stream uh, after what we've been doing here in Grand Rapids public, mm -hmm. and that is we have two dumpsters behind every single building. Mm -hmm. One dumpster is dedicated strictly to trash, and the other dumpster is dedicated strictly to recyclable material. That dumpster is commingled meaning that you can have any recyclable material in that dumpster. And that would include the cardboard, aluminum, tin, uh, foam, office paper. And the buildings need to make sure that the recyclable material is put in clear plastic bags so that mm -hmm. when it gets to the recycle center, they can sort the product out. The challenges are basically human complacency. We try to make the system as easy as possible, but if Individuals aren't diligent about making sure that trash is being put in the right receptacle, then it doesn't go anywhere. In the cafeteria, if, if uh, students aren't putting their milk containers, their empty milk containers in the, in the uh, blue recycle bin, mm -hmm. uh, if they are taking, for in the elementary buildings, if they've got the white foam tray, the kids aren't knocking the food off of it and stacking it properly, and putting it in the proper receptacle, it doesn't happen. Uh, individuals that don't break down boxes flat, those all contribute to lack of recycling. If uh, the waste hauler comes and sees that the dumpster is contaminated, and our dumpsters are out in the open, so anyone from the neighborhood can come in and throw a pile of garbage into our dumpsters, and they don't care which is recycle and which is trash, and so then that all goes into the incinerator. Before talking to our peers and faculty about the benefits of recycling, we set out to gather information from different sources. We started by visiting the Kent County Recycle Center and Landfill to get a first-hand look at how recycling impacts our environment. This landfill is currently about 350 acres. The landfill space where we're actually dumping trash is about 150 acres. Every day, we get about 100 uh, dump trucks or garbage trucks here. We get about a million pounds of, tr of trash a day. Wow. Here. That's okay. ridiculous. A day. A day, yep. A million pounds of trash a day. And every day, you guys know what the average American makes for trash in one day? It's about four and a half pounds, actually. Each of you will make about four and a half pounds of trash in one day. Okay, so you can think about how many people are dumping their trash here. The landfill is 30 times larger than a recycling center we visited. It because it was nice to see all the things that people recycled and it was kind of cool how all the machines work like it was this light and it flashes and it can tell like what type of um, plastic it was so it like put them in sort them differently yeah that was cool and then when I went to the landfill I was kind of sad because like when you see all of the trash it was like so many bottles and plastic bags and paper and all kinds of like that that could have been recycled. And it's sad to know that like humans, how we treat the earth and stuff, and that that's all being buried. The landfill, I thought it was pretty gross, but it's like an eye opener to see like where all our trash goes to. And it's like sad that there's so much stuff there that we can recycle. Ultimately, it is up to us to get the student body motivated to recycle. I think one way to encourage people to recycle here at Union is to really state the facts of recycling and what it can do to help the earth and make it greener. They first need to know the importance of it because some of them, um, if you don't tell them, they won't know or they won't ask advertise it a little bit more because you really don't hear too much about it like no, well at least where I live they really don't advertise it or tell you too much about it they just you know pick up the trash make sure you know what days it at what days and how much it can weigh another thing we learned is how fortunate we are to live in Grand Rapids where our mayor and city commission are aware of the importance of recycling and have started new programs not only make recycling easier but also rewarding Hello, Mayor Hartwell. My name is Twyla Williamson, and I am here today to ask you, how come 
Apartment buildings do not have recycling bins. <laughs> I have a friend who lives in apartments, and she says she would recycle more if there was recycling bins. Since the county uh, opened up their uh, single stream recycling center, we are making the service available for apartments and, and condominium buildings. And, and we've even started to reach out now in business district. And so whether you live in a single family home, uh, uh, an apartment building or a condominium building, you can now recycle for free uh, at curbside uh, any place in the city of Grand Rapids. Mayor Hartwell, I was just wondering who came up with the trash pickup system? That was Commissioner Bowen's idea at the time, and he, he fought hard to get uh, free curbside recycling, and, and, and it's been a great, great benefit to our, to our citizens. And our city staff, under Greg Sundstrom's leadership, have really taken it in and, and figured out how to make it work, even beyond recycling. And I believe that Grand Rapids is, is going to be a model for uh, cities around the country with this new uh, GR, My GR City Points. The 15th is National Recycling Day, and we were wondering if you would like to see the city celebrate that in some way. I sure hope so. We are all about recycling. In fact, I got a, I got the uh, the map uh, from my uh, from James Hurt, our uh, Department of Public Works director, that shows precinct by precinct in Grand Rapids the increase in recycling since the advent of uh, the uh, the county's uh, single stream since we put the carts out. The precinct that had the the smallest increase in recycling was a 51% increase. There were precincts that had 120, 150, 180. There was a precinct that had a 208% increase in recycling. Uh, the precincts with the greatest increases were core city precincts, so people that maybe weren't recycling at all. Understand that if they put that curbside recycling uh, cart out mm -hmm. there, the cart that they can get for free, the recycling that's removed for free, that it's going to reduce their costs for trash collection. First things first, in order to get students motivated, we have to get them educated and state the facts. It'll like make things cheaper so you have more money and it's better for the planet. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. There's no reason not to recycle. Totally. All right. That's all for today, folks. I'm Javonna Curry and this is I'm talking with Heaven Matthews and we're out. Well, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate your time. She's a good interviewer. Thank you. That was
Have you done this a lot before? Really? You're so natural.